WLW, the high fidelity transmitter of the Crosley Corporation, Cincinnati. There was a time when WLW was America's station. It was one of the first radio stations in America and one of the longest continuously broadcasting stations. For a time, it was the most powerful AM broadcasting station in the world and could be heard across the country. WLW was about to celebrate its 100th birthday. For decades, it has been a mecca for radio enthusiasts to visit as part of their annual journey to the ARRL Dayton Hamvention. It was on one of these trips a few years ago that I saw this for sale sign and began to panic. The beloved 831-foot-tall Blah Knox Broadcast Tower seemed to be for sale. Who would want to buy this piece of radio history, and what would they do with it? The land was divided up into lots, and construction soon began. Was it destined to become another gas station or convenience store? Radio enthusiasts watched as the land around the station and tower was cleared. All of the giant trees were removed. Then, buildings began to fall, starting with the iconic engineer's house next to the historic transmitter building that housed the unimaginably powerful 500,000 watt transmitter that was so powerful it needed its own cooling pond on site. It was rumored that the station was so powerful it could be heard through toasters and fillings and teeth.
Although the original entrance with the iconic iron fencing, tree-lined driveway, and engineer's house has been removed, the rest of the radio history remains with even better public access and a new park surrounding the antenna tower for visitors to get up close and contemplate the enormous contribution of Crosley and WLW to the area and the amazing technology of the Blaw Knox antenna. If you're in Cincinnati, especially around Hanvention time, I just might see you there in the Tower Park, and we can chat under the shadow of the great iconic tower. And after that, we can enjoy a butter burger and a custard at Culver's, get our cars washed, and maybe do some shopping in the new Tower Park. <laughs> 